Hey guys, so welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dice Paul, and thank you so much for all your love and all your support. If you're a new viewer, definitely go to our channel, watch all these videos. If these videos are helping you, then definitely hit the subscribe button to be part of the Smart Trader family. And for the ones who wants additional services, always WhatsApp 7892652481. For the ones who wants to be part of my secret Telegram channel, you can open your DMAT or trading account in Zeroda, Upstock, Angel Broking, or Alice Blue. Link is in the video description, so utilize it. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about a strategy which you can use. A strategy based on indicators, okay, a set of indicators and a different chart style which you can utilize. So one thing what I would say is if you are a beginner, always try to learn the basics and then try this on paper trading. Or if you are also someone who's intermediate, then also I would suggest you to practice this on paper trading because you need to understand other skills also. Other skills is also important to do this. So paper trade, there is nothing wrong in learning lot and lot things. So you can also add more parameters, your skills to it and make it better. So always paper trade because I have tried this, I am, I am doing it. You need to try it, then only you have to do it. So what is the strategy? It's very simple. We are going to use these things, uh, basically the range bar chart. So candle type will be range bar. So we'll be setting 0.3%. I'll show you how. And then we have an indicator MACD. Uh, I'll be using a default setting. And then indicators, I'll use a Bollinger Bands. Okay, just for my confirmations and to understand somewhere where's the stop loss and all that. And also I mentioned your market direction. Uh, I will tell you what it is. And target of 0.3% or you can try to push it above. Or you can keep a stop loss of 0.3 and or else you can consider the Bollinger Bands as your stop loss. Now what is this? First thing, I'll change the candlestick. So for example, I'll take a stock let's say Tata Motors see first of, first of all I told market direction to you so market direction is trending markets now for example today the market is somewhere negative okay so the market is negative market you see almost he is falling down and minus also you can see that so today I don't want to go and buy when the market is falling you know that there is no supporters for me people are trying to sell so let me take an advantage of sell now you need to understand trying to do this within morning by 12 o'clock is very good post which you know the market direction may change so understanding the market is very important so overall okay the market was falling during this time so i got to take an advantage on the stocks which are falling for the day then i will consider sell direction if the market let's say market was going up like yesterday i would have taken the uh, advantage on the buy side buy signals only okay so go according to the market don't go against the market never challenge the market so market direction and basically why i told trending is because see now the market is overall going down okay negative side overall going up positive side a few days if the market is going maybe sideways you're not not getting any proper direction don't trade because it will not be that effective so always go when the market is either going upside or overall going downside if it is 0.2 percent up or down somewhere in that level itself not going too much higher buy side or sell side then don't take a trade in intraday in this particular method okay so what is your observation going to be first thing you are going to let's say choose a stock okay maybe uh, you have five four five stocks negative stocks for the day which you want to trade or whichever stock you want to trade you want to trade only in tata motors or you want to trade only in reliance you can choose the stock and wait for the signal this is how this can be done this can be done on nifty 50 also but i'm just showing you specifically on stock same thing can be done on futures also now what you have to do is you need to change the candle so this is a candle stylist can uh, here candle basic one you need to change this to range bars so you have the range bar here so first you can click on this and you can enter a value now i have told you what you need to enter here you need to enter 0.3 percentage of the stock see if you're clicking on reliance you should calculate for reliance if you're clicking on tata motors you need to calculate for tata motors so tata motors around 299 so rough example i will take 299.85 uh, into 0 0.3 percent is 0.89 so 0 0.90 is the rough uh, calculation of 0.3 percent for uh, tata uh, so what i'll do i'll keep one rupee very simple example i'll keep one rupee little small buffer i'm keeping so one rupee is the calculated amount so once you give one rupee this chart see you have two type of charts either you can go by time chart so if you give candle and give one minute every one minute it will keep changing if, now i give based on volatility so based on the price movement candle will be formed every candle is one rupee candle so for example uh, if i on this and if i keep on a candle you see this you can see here high and low so how much is the high 299.6 low is 298.6 so one rupee is the movement so next one rupee if it crosses above this value new candle is formed if it crosses above this value new candle is formed okay 
So everything is one rupee. That's how we set range volatility of the stock. So we kept this based on the volatility of our stock. Now, next thing what you have to do is you need to add your indicator. Uh, let's say the MACD default setting. So this is the MACD default setting which you have done 12, 26 and 9. And also we can add a Bollinger Band. Bollinger Bands, okay. It's a default setting again. Now, what you have to do, for example, you can go with the one minute chart here because one minute chart will give you more details, okay, because it's a range. So every minute, how much our fluctuation happens when 10 candles can be formed. Maybe this is 51, 51, this is 1056, 10, 50, this is 11.03 and 11.05. So you see a gap. The price didn't move for a long period. So it is staying still there. All right. So now what do we do? Very simple. We need to take buy and sell signal based on the MACD. So if I can make MACD bigger and smaller. All right. So like you know, whenever the MACD, this is a signal line, red color and uh, black color is the MACD. If you don't know, you can click here. So in your system, what it is. So black color is MACD, red is signal. So whenever MACD crosses down, it is like a sell signal. Okay, just an indicator. It's not always right, but it's indicating a cell is going to start. And histogram, if you see, you got a cell here and histogram, this is the lower one is the histogram. So this is a zero line. So here, once it starts at the below level, then it's a confirmation that now it is going to turn. Okay. So now there is a turn over here. So let's say this is a sell. Let's say this one is a buy. Now how deep it is, the better it is. Now see, these are the bigger signals which you got. And these are the bigger signals for buy. So buying from the down, selling from the top is recommended. Now, today the market was negative. So I cannot go for, uh, you know, buying, let's say directly for buying today. You can buy, but the risk is yours. See now here, I got a buy confirmation in MACD for Tata Motor stock. So here, if I take a buy also, now here it has not gone up because overall market is negative. So you need to take sell order today. Maybe in Tata Motors, you didn't get sell order. Maybe let's say, let's take some other stock reliance like that. We'll check before that one example. Let me show for sell over here is here. See, this is a sell signal. MACD has given a sell signal confirmation almost over here okay so macd has given a confirmation here so i got a confirmation in this candle that okay now the uh, histogram is starting down so this candle from here i have to sell now what you will do for selling you will not blindly sell you will wait for this level to break out so your selling value you can set somewhere below this so what is the low of this candle the low of this candle is 309.5 you can keep a small 5 paisa to 10 paisa gap you can keep around 309.40 okay that is somewhere here as you sell later when the stock is breaking these levels okay so when it is trading here you will keep your selling here okay so your selling is here so maybe later when he comes to this price he will be sold all right so now whenever this selling happens you, you can keep a stop loss either 0.3 if you don't want to take too much of risk you can keep 0.3 percent stop loss from where you bought but generally what happens is there will be a volatility which goes up and down so you can keep your bollinger bands because bollinger band is like your dead end like it has a chance to touch the bollinger band and come down also right when you are getting a sell signal it is the possibility okay so you will keep somewhere bollinger band or within the bollinger band you feel you can keep your stop loss so that if even if it fluctuates in this case it has come and let's say it broke and then took time and then went down but if you see overall it has come down if you keep your bollinger band you have enough space to breathe for the stock and then from that point you can go down so this was an example of a sell i'll give an example of buy also any rough example let's say here is a buy so you got a buy from the lower level. Let's say the market was buying on that particular day. So you got a buy here, this particular candle. So what you will do, you will always buy above this candle. Okay. So you will keep your order around 593.39. If the stock is already spiking up, you will buy it immediately. And then you will try to keep a target of 0.3 percentage. Now what you need to do, see either if you are very strict to keep a 0.3 percent stop loss. Yes, you can keep a 0.3 percent stop loss. That is the low of this candle. Somewhere close to low of this candle will be 0.3 because this is calculated 0.3. So your stop loss is somewhere here, 0.3 percentage. If not, like I told you, Bollinger Bands will be a stop loss in this particular case. Okay. So in this case, somewhere instead of 592, somewhere close to 589 or 290, you will keep a stop loss. 
even if the stock fluctuates later the stock has gone up either it has given your target or it has gone up so whenever your tar your stock goes up you can push your stop losses from different levels let's say if your buy level was uh, stop loss was here you can move your stop loss to here and slowly above and above as and when the stock goes up so that's what i mentioned here either you can hit a target of 0.3 when your target goes up from stop loss from these levels you can slowly bring it up and up and lock in your profit so either you can go for higher targets or strict 0.3 percent target stop loss you can keep 0.3 percentage immediately in case you don't want to take much risk of bollinger band level you can immediately keep 0.3 percentage of stop loss and if it hits the stop loss it's okay it's over next next trade okay so we'll take another example now reliance reliance is a different value now i cannot trade with same range bar so what is the value of reliance stock 2048 take a calculator calculate 2048 2048 into 0.3% is how much? Why did I put 0 0.35? Okay. 2048 into 0 0.3% enter. So it's 6.15 rupees. So what you will do, you will go and edit your chart for this. I want 6.15 rupees range candles. Volatility, volatile chart. Okay. Now, in today in reliance also already it was going down there was not a proper signal yesterday was a signal of sell over here yesterday was a sell signal so maybe you got a sell signal in this candle you need to sell below this candle value that is 2082.5 keep the values in mind okay not the candle keep 2082.50 is a sell let's say you will immediately try to sell if you get the value and you'll keep a 0.3 percent target stop loss either you can keep 0.3 that is this candle is 0.3 six rupees here if not you want to be very safe uh, you can keep somewhere here and then you can trail your profits to lower levels okay so getting this before like i told before 12 o'clock is good that is here uh, end of the day you know you don't have time to do all that so maybe you are doing a selling in this particular candle waiting for the breakout of this particular candle and then going below and below so this is example uh, of uh, reliance same way buying also so always remember macd should give a signal in the peak is let's say this is the topmost levels highest levels or uh, this is the lowest levels okay say lowest levels you're getting when you're getting something in the middle you know the strength may be weak that is one understanding you need to have because everywhere you may get a sell. see suddenly you may get a sell here again a small sell here so you don't know how strong it is but what i would suggest is uh, try to take signals which are far away so you can check that three four stocks you can take the for example today is negative market you can take top four five stocks which are falling today and then open their chart and see for the signals which are for selling same way if market was buying you can add four, five to ten stocks in your list either equity or you can put the same futures and then see either you have a sell signal as per the market today or you have a buy signal if you get signal trade if you don't get signal don't trade see having one strategy and waiting for a whole day it's wrong you need to have fight and strategy if this strategy is giving signal take buy in buy and sell in this strategy or your other strategy is giving you buy or sell go to that strategy so that's the reason you need to know many strategies so i'll summarize simply uh, the candle type should be range bar it should be calculated as per the stock when you change the chart ensure you calculate 0.3 percent of the stock or the future indicator macd default setting indicator bollinger bands just to know where is your stop loss and all those so now simple how do you enter based on the signals given by macd macd has given a sell signal based on negative market so sell is considered so maybe you'll go for sell if you get a buy right now if the market is uh, red and you don't want to take chance of buying here even though you get a buy rather if the market was a buying side then you get a buy signal on a buying stock see this is a negative stock so the whole market has been dominated see maybe you have a positive stock here okay and you have a positive stock here and then uh, market is buy then only you go for buy okay so um, you will take signals buy and sell based on macd bollinger bands will help you to understand where your stop losses can the maximum stop loss can be kept with the bollinger if not you can keep strict 0.3 percent which is you know it is volatile it can hit stop loss it can hit target the chances of hitting target has to increase in that case uh, in terms of bollinger band the accuracy is higher as per me but the thing is you should not settle for 0.3 percent target you need to push your target higher and higher and push your stop loss upper and upper and lock in your profit minimum 0.3 percent and then allow, allow the stock to go further up and then push the stock for stop loss further up so that's how you can push 
your stop loss so you can go and go to your orders and keep editing go to your orders whatever is your stop loss go and keep editing that particular order so that the percentage of you know your stop loss goes higher in case it reverses also your profit is locked so hope this was an add-on to your knowledge so keep learning a lot of strategies and ideas keep reading books and keep reading a lot of articles you get a lot of ideas like this these are the common uh, strategy used by a lot of traders so you can keep tweaking these numbers changing according to your uh, observations in the market and also you can see that this strategy is not so whenever you want you go and take and you get a signal and you buy it the strategy is where you get a signal you need to search for a signal and when you get a signal that's when you take an entry i always recommend to take cnc uh, that is cash and carry so that you can buy today and sell today itself it's an intraday itself with your own money or else in futures you can take a normal order that is your full margin money you give not an intraday leverage money so take that so that in case you want to wait for longer time also you can keep waiting in terms of uh, in these cases that is one advice i would like to give you so for the beginners i would say always uh, observe the market and do paper trading that is your uh, best way to do it so apart from that if you like this video please hit that like button and also share see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye